My name is Chris Linder. My name is Kurt Smith. Yeah, so we're chilling in Joshua Tree. What are we doing here? I'm here to take Chris Linder on a trip through time and show him what the old school was all about. I heard Kurt was coming down and he's like, oh, you gotta come and try these rad roots that I put up back in the 80s. They've never been done again, you know? You gotta come out to J Tree and repeat the horror shows of yesterday. Let's do it, buddy. Yeah, man. Bring it. You know, J Tree is, is no joke. There is a lot of hard routes here and they're typically a little sketchy and they're proud. Ah! And so it's just an honor to come here and, and climb with the people that put some of these roots up. And now we're out here 20 years later in the same rocks, same area, and uh, you know, it's just timeless. I'm uh, 25 years old this year and uh, just been climbing my whole life. My first time here, I was two weeks old. My parents climbed out here all throughout the 80s and early 90s. I remember climbing with your parents back then. Yeah, yeah, you knew my parents back in the day. Yeah. Eventually, when I was about three years old, I really started rock climbing. 512A, fantastic. Definitely knew of Kurt Smith back when I was eight years old. Yeah, I mean, Kurt was, Kurt was a man, you know. 1988, I was fired up. I had a split window BW bus. Rock and roll, Black Sabbath, Rush, mullet, mohawk, and just wanting to climb and to put up first ascents every damn day. You know, back in 88, I had a mullet. Just like you. <laughs> yeah, good, as you should. Yeah. <laughs> 1988 was a fairly pivotal moment in J Tree history. Um, a lot of really hard, traditional, ground up roots were done that year. Joshua Tree was the mixing pot of all the talent in the West Coast. The Dunce Cap is a pretty seminal root for me. It was just the last true trad, ground up, hanging on hooks, no hang dogging, first ascent that I did. Just an amazing line right up the center of the cap rock. It is a very blank, imposing face. It's completely it's, sketch ball. Yeah, sketch ball and just mental. I have never in my life done anything like that, you know? When I finished that route, I fully expected people to jump all over that thing and, and nab the second ascent pretty quick. Everybody mm -hmm. tried the first move. Nobody could climb the thing. I think you'd be really psyched to grab the second ascent. Nice. Because I know nobody's ever done this thing. That's Oh, that's badass, dude. Finger lock with the left, couple little edges. It's surprising that it took 21 years to finally see somebody get on the thing, unlock the puzzles, and climb it. Here's your cord, my friend. May I not have to use it? Enjoy the ride, my friend. Fucking hell, I shouldn't have fallen there. I really shouldn't have. It's hard, you know, it's hard. Take, take, Shiza. Didn't have a foot right at all. I have never in my life done anything close to a move like that, you know, so how do you grade something that you put your hand in between your shoulder blades and yeah. reach out and look at the sky? You basically can't, you know? I think Chris is a lot like me. He's motivated, he's psyched, he's into first ascents. That was me. 30 years ago. Ready for it, Kurt? Three years. <laughs> a little more, huh? All right, Chris, send it. Take your time. Nice. Oh, God, come on. Come on, Chris. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on. Much in the money now. Woo. Yeah, buddy. It is amazing to look back to see how I've changed, how Joshua Tree's changed, how climbing has changed. Bro. But yet, when I come back, it's all the same. The memories, the energy, and the adventure. It's like to be done, that's for sure. Go have Kurt show me another classic. If I